Yeah. Good evening. Thanks. All right, first of all, thanks for uh, coming down and spending all this time on the field. Fitness is something that it's not... Fitness is something that's daily. Whether it's nutrition, whether it's exercise, whether it's rest, whether it's just simple recovery. Okay? Fitness is something that you are the only person that can control that. I can't control it. Abram can't control it. Tim can't control it. You're the person in charge of that. And a lot of you all sitting in this room tell me you want to be a FIFA assistant referee, a FIFA referee, an MLS referee. But until you decide to put the boots on the ground, as I like to say, and put the blood, sweat, and tears into it, might as well talk to that uh, jet ski right outside the door. Because I can beat you until you're fit, but then you decide to go sit on the couch for six weeks, and then three weeks after that you got a fitness test and you fail it. At the end, we're going to ask, I'm going to ask you all to give me the standards that you all have. Okay? But I want you to tell me something. Is this referee fit? <coughs> and is he doing what he needs to do? <laughs> You're all laughing, but I can guarantee you it happened today, it happened last night, it happened last week, right? It happened at the Boys Disney Showcase, it happened at the Girls Disney Showcase and Thanksgiving, and when somebody brings it to your attention, you want to say, no, that wasn't me, right? Or you come up with excuses. Excuses are like belly buttons. Everybody's got one and they're all different. Okay? But this guy calls a penalty or doesn't call a penalty kick and doesn't send a guy off and then wants to, doesn't understand why everybody's giving him a hard time. So as I said, who's in control of fitness? You. All right? <clears throat> Everybody should know about when the fitness tests are given. And it takes about six weeks to get pre prepped for it. About six weeks. If you're already there, all it is is about three weeks of fine-tuning, four weeks of fine-tuning. If you're in good physical condition. <clears throat> if you're not, you've been laying around, it's going to take at least eight weeks. When do you start preparing for the fitness test? John, when do you all give the fitness test here in this area? About four or five times a year. Four or five times a year? Yeah. Holy cow. And it's mandatory for all four or five times or just once? Once. So we're talking maybe quarterly, right? So y here, let me give you all a, fee uh, uh, a reality check. Mark Geiger takes it four times a year. Four times a year, quarterly. All of our FIFA referees and assistant referees take it quarterly. So throw that into your seasons, right? And he's given three weeks notice <clears throat> to go take it. He doesn't make it, guess what? No problem, we got another person put it right in his spot. Excuses don't happen, all right? So you, do you get in shape to referee or do you referee to get into shape? A lot of you all do the last part. That's your way of staying physically active. Okay? If you're above the age of 45, I understand that. And God love you all. And as my uh, father's doctor keeps telling him, keep doing it. It's keeping you alive. But anybody under the age of 45, back to my excuses and belly buttons. Okay? You're doing a disservice to those players. And then you want to get upset... When the player, like the guy in the video, starts screaming, how can you make that call? You're 45 yards away. Or the coach that's standing over there that's closer to the play than you are. 
questions you. And you go, how dare you question me? I'm the referee. Right? How many of us have seen that? We've all seen it, I'm sure. Okay? So let's not do those things. And then recovery. How many of y'all really know what recovery means? How many, did th how many games did y'all get today? A, a piece. Two? Three? Uh, two and three? Between two and three. So if you really worked your Self, like you should have, shouldn't have any games tomorrow then. But I'm sure you got two or three tomorrow. And then, that's Sunday, two or three Monday, right? Is there any on Monday? Yeah. Oh, okay. So after three straight days of hard work, y'all need at least a week to recover. Now I'm going to go to college. And Zoom, you, you assign a lot of college people, right? Quite a few. Okay. How many have five games in a week? That I assign? Yeah. I don't assign anyone five games a week. But some of them that you assign probably do, right? They probably work for other assigners, yeah. Right. So when do you when do you let your body rest and recover? That's my question to you. If you really want to be doing this game for many, 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 many years, okay? And John David McGee will tell you. I've been refereeing longer than all of you people in this room, minus the ones in the back and the ones right over there by him. If you were born before 1986, raise your hand. 86? Frankie, how old are you? You're 84? I started refereeing in 1985. I've been in the league since day one. But I didn't beat my body up like that. The reason I can bring out John David is John David was somebody I worked for in 85, 86, 87. Okay? But we recovered. We didn't do... Nowadays it's a whole lot better. We didn't do those things back then. Five days a week you ran three to four miles a day. You, you didn't do strength. Right? The program has totally changed. But how many games in a week do you do? If you're giving your all, if you're treating every game like it's a World Cup final, you're going to do two, maybe three in a week. I had a guy a couple of weeks ago tell me he did two NCAA playoff games in one day. In the middle. And I said, really? Glad I had you, uh, I'm glad you were on the first game, not the second game with me. Because I'd have hated it had to deal with you in the second game. No wonder the coach gave you all rash of trouble. All right? So, John says in this area, this is C, right? Or C, four times a year. Area A, where's that? Where's area A? South Florida. How many times? We do it four times a year. So, at the same time his are, or a couple of weeks apart? Area B? We do it four times. We, we coordinate between the ARAs through all different days. So basically we'll just say one weekend out of every month you could go to any area and take a fitness test. No? Quarterly. August to December. August to December. Okay. August to January. We'll, we'll say that. So we know that. I know that, right? I know that n the last weekend of this month, for the last five years, has been the PRO fitness test weekend. So I know either right before Thanksgiving, or right after Thanksgiving, or right after Christmas, I better get my butt in shape. I don't use the excuse, oh, I was only given two weeks' notice. If you're telling me y'all are given four opportunities in each area, no good. Okay? So, tell me if this guy's fit. Okay. 
Watch him read the play. That helps a whole lot. But second of all, this game went, if you listen to me, it went from being where we do three to four miles a day running, aerobic conditioning, to three to four miles a day anaerobic conditioning that sprints. Okay? So a little history on this guy. He was number seven in his confederation on the list of World Cup candidates. Number seven. They only take four, by the way, if you're lucky. After this performance right there, he was number three. Nobody knew who he was, but after the game before this and then this one, they said, ooh, we got to put him on our radar. Okay? So, J.J. Watts. How many of y'all know that guy? Anybody ever heard of him? Okay. This is his motto that he lives by every day. Make pretty much sense? Does he say that somebody else is responsible for it in his statement here? Who do you think he seems responsible for? Fitness. Doing the duties of the game. Being a professional. Taking care of the game. Taking care of yourself and your responsibilities. Right? Anybody have any questions on fitness? <clears throat> nobody? So nobody wants to know maybe how to get yourself better. Nobody, nobody questions how you pass... You failed the fitness, the, the sprints, and this is beyond me. Because if you fail the sprints, you should have never been able to take the intervals. Okay? If you failed sprints, too bad. Have a good day. Alright? Don't go take the intervals. Alright? As well as... Yes, sir. A uh, question on uh, nutrition as well, being at the high level. Obviously, they probably say it with a dietitian nutritionist. Is there a certain kind of regimen they want you to follow post-match or two days after, or two, two days before? Well, we have a registered dietitian on our, yep. in our staff, uh, but not everybody. The full-time guys see her every two weeks. Guys like me see her every six months, but immediately after the game, they want you to get at least 20 grams or after a hard workout, 20 grams of protein in your system. <clears throat> Typically for us, our quote recovery process is day after a match is we do active recovery, whether in a pool or on an uh, indoor bike, anything low impact, followed by 30 to 45 minutes of stretching. And then the second day, depending on your matches that week, the second day, so for me, Sunday's active recovery, on Monday it's total rest. And a lot of ours depends on our, our HRV, which is a heart rate variance uh, meter that, that we send in every morning uh, we, when we get out of bed, as well as our other reports. But with our nutrition, <clears throat> she gives us ideas of things that she says to us, anything that's bigger than the palm of your hand, okay, is too much. So when, when we go to eat, we get one piece of chicken and it's in the palm of our hand. Uh, green beans, palm of our hand. Salad. Uh, she's big on tuna as well as chicken. All right. In fact, because we travel, a lot of those guys travel so much, she started coming up with things that you can pack and travel with you, like the tuna in a bag. So she gave us recipes on taking that tuna in a bag and putting... Um, how many of y'all go to Taco Bell? It's okay. Tell the truth. So she said... She said, take those packets from Taco Bell, you know, the hot sauces and stuff, and pour them in your uh, tuna and mix them up so you get some spicy there or some uh, mayo, a little bit of mayo. But sh uh, they go through programs with us of what we should be putting in our body and what we shouldn't. Um, nothing against Abram, but the uh, ham sandwiches she would have been having a fit about. But as I tell her, you know, sometimes you have to deal with what you got to deal with. But the one thing that uh, <clears throat> for some of you all, y'all live on uh, energy drinks, Right? Some of y'all use energy drinks, use them. All right. Uh, let me give you a piece of advice. Um, y'all drive. So here's, here's the way of understanding what an energy drink really does for you. Take that can of energy drink that you're getting ready to put in your body. 
Fill it up with water, pour it out, fill it up with water, and pour that into your gas tank. Okay? And then let me know how far you get with that. All right? Because all that's doing is cluttering up your system. Cluttering up your muscles. Cluttering up your energy system. Because it's just a quick energy. All right? So it's really not helping. It's not benefiting you. All right? Might as well just take some methamphetamine. <laughs> okay? So, <clears throat> but... Honestly, seriously, people, if you're, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're doing, during college season, four, five, six games a week, and then you're going to try and take a fitness test, right? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. I promise you that. So what are your standards, by the way? Grade se seven, what do you have to do? What's the, the, the 40 meter sprint in? 30 meter sprint? 6.4. That's a 40 or a 30? 40. Okay. For, right now for a 7, it's a 9. Yeah, I was going to say 6.4 is what our guys run. <laughs> okay, ho, ho, ho. Let's let the administrators say this. Since I'm now starting to wonder or begin to understand why some of you are struggling. So as a grade 7, what is the sprint, the 40 meter sprint? 7 seconds. 7 seconds. Okay. What about for a state? State women's FIFA 6.4. 6.4. Okay. And then nationals? I told you, 6 flat for a referee. Okay. What about the the one uh, the seventy fives? The seventy five meter, twenty five meter. 17. No, seventeen is mine. So grade grade seven, what are you? Grade seven run a thirty five forty five. Wow. One fifty. One fifty. So we do four intervals. Okay. All they did was cut ours in half, right? So just imagine. So do you see where my point is? You all are not taking, you all should have been able to tell me exactly what your, your times were without an administrator jumping in. Okay, because you need to know those things.